Hi, welcome back. It feels a long time since I've done one of these videos. I've not been doing many videos, as you can see, lately, but I wanted to do this one. So, obviously, everybody's aware now that uh, DJI have announced the Mavic Air 2, and let me tell you now, I've watched enough of it to know that thing is phenomenal. Why I won't be buying one is because I already own the Mavic Air, uh, sorry, the Mavic Air, I already own the Mavic Pro 2 and the Mavic 2 Zoom. So, for me, it's too similar to this. But which is not a bad thing, it's an amazing thing. So for 769 because I believe that's the price, and 800 and 900 and something, I, forgive me, I don't know the price, for three, three batteries a case and all the rest of it, I, I can't say it's a bargain, because it's a lot of money, but it's a significant step forward for DJI. I got hammered on the video I did for the Mavic Mini because people said I was too harsh because I didn't rate it and various other things. And I didn't rate that drone. I think it's very toyish. I still use mine, don't get me wrong, and it's a great little thing to have. If I, but I film in 1080-60 because I think that's where its sweet spot is. And it's not great in Windy. If you live in the UK, you're going to always have a bit of that. I'm not saying it's... I've got to like it more the more I've used it and I do now have three batteries for it and the charger and everything so I've now got officially the fly more combo. But it never hit that spot for me. It was never what I expected DJI to come out with. They came out with a budget drone and in my opinion went too much for the 250 instead of just concentrating on making that drone a bit better. But that being said, let's move on to what they've done now. This is a phenomenal drone. Forgetting the fact it's got 60 frames per second at 4K, even at 4K six, at 4K 30, which is the same as the Mavic Pro comes out with. All right, it doesn't do 10 bit, but it's a phenomenal picture quality. I've seen enough videos now of people that I trust that have done reviews on it. Not I just need them people like that, but the other people that have done it, and it looks an amazing piece of kit. And like I say, if I were buying one, I'd just be buying it for the sake of owning it, and I'm not doing that anymore. Them days are gone. Um, I'm concentrating on many other things which is going to see a video coming up in the next couple of weeks of what I've been doing in lockdown unfortunately because we've not been able to go out it's led me time to finish this room that I'm now sat in which is uh, a game room which, and to me it's now phenomenal I've got it exactly like I wanted so I haven't been flying that much haven't been able to go out flying because I've been sticking to the lockdown rules which I think everybody should because I believe it's the right thing to do and I hope before I go any further, that everybody's families have been safe out there that's watching this. So back to the Mavic 2. Mavic Air 2. To me, the price point is probably good. Everybody would like it to be a bit cheaper, but you're getting a hell of a lot of technology for your money there. It's not bargain basement this. This is a well-made drone. It's, well, it's, well, it's just a mini version of this, isn't it? Let's be fair. It's a mini version of this. And that is a great thing. They've actually made something that's properly made. It comes in at, I can't remember which weight, it's about 500 grams, is it? Something like that, 600. So it's a, it's a first, this is over 900, so it's a fair bit lighter than this. Uh, it's got fantastic battery life, but for me, that, that drone is all about the camera and how good it looks. And it looks really sharp on the things I've seen. I've just watched a comparison video on, the, on this and the Mavic Air. Two are uh, from a person I trust, from a photographer's point of view, not from a flyer's point of view. It's a DJI job. It's going to fly well. The Mavic Mini flies phenomenally well. They've sussed that, and they sussed that a long time ago. They can make drones fly well. They know what they're doing. It's all about the camera on that thing. And to me, it's a massive step forward from the Mavic Air. Uh, I had a Mavic Air since the, I think I bought it the week it came. I don't have one anymore. I got rid of it a little bit ago. Came out, I got it the week it came out, and I was always a bit on the fence with it. I had a Mavic Pro at that time, and I was probably still flying the Mavic Pro more than the Air. And that's because, I st although the image was sharper on the Mavic Air, the first one, I felt it was oversaturated the colours, and I felt there was too much digital sharpening going on in it to make the picture look good. Whereas I feel now, alright, it's still got digital sharpening going on, don't get me wrong, and it's still slightly saturated, but it looks like a fantastic image. And of course, you've now got superior flight time and a better major in my opinion. So, it's my two pennies worth. I, I'm not saying for everybody should go out and buy one, but I believe it's a great drone. And I think that it's a nice step forward from DJI's point of view. They've got another drone out in that marketplace. It's still maybe too, maybe too far away from the people that have been buying the Femex ATC and the Hudson Zeno 2. It's probably still a bit of a price point above that, but it's getting there. And uh, in my opinion, if you're looking at Xeno 2 or the 
theme the XATS either and just try and save up a bit more money or get in there and get yourself a second hand Mavic Air because they're going to be going cheap and to be, to be fair the Mavic Air is a much better drone than any of them other two drones that I've mentioned. So Mavic Airs will come down in price which is a good thing, you'll be able to get them cheap and obviously the Mavic Air 2 is superb. So this sounds like a DJI fanboy video, probably is, I like DJI as much as I didn't like the Mavic Mini or I didn't rate the Mavic Mini as high as other people did, I am a DJI fan, I admit that. And that's simply because they know what they're doing, they fly well, the cameras look good on them, sometimes they do too much digital sharpening but the image is great. I can put this thing in the air and I know exactly what it's going to do. It's it's almost boring flying this. Whereas I fly as you know, a theme exit and I'm wondering if it's going to come back. Let's be fair. I do still think that. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks for the new subscribers. If you're new to the channel, welcome. There will be some more videos coming up. But the next video coming up will be this room and what I've done to it. And then we will still have some more drone videos coming up. I'm hopefully going to get out flying next week and I want to do a couple of comparison videos that you'll see. So thank you ever so much. Hope you're all safe. Stay isolated and follow the rules. Thanks very much. Bye. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.